This video is about the Canvas widget in Tekinta. The Canvas widget is used to um, put shapes and images onto your user interface. So let's have a look at it. This is an example. This is what we're going to be creating here, which has actually got two canvases, a shapes canvas and an image canvas set into a grid onto our window. So let's have a look at the code. So we've done our usual of importing Tekinta and creating a root window. The geometry is a little bit different, but that's not a big issue. And we've also got the uh, main loop running down the bottom. So if I was to actually run this, it would produce a window, but with nothing in it. Okay, so let's put the first canvas in. That's gonna be our shape canvas. So because I, I need to give it the name shape canvas, because we actually will be putting objects onto the canvas, we will be referencing it. So um, we've called shape canvas. Um, we put it shape canvas, we're calling the canvas method and we're saying the shape canvas goes into the root. It's going to have a background of light blue, a width of 255 and a height of 255. And then I actually need to put it into, just like every other widget, put it into the window. So I'm going to come down here into this code and I'm going to um, say shape canvas using the grid um, geometry method and say put it in row zero, column zero. So I'm going to say that, and you can see this one over here is going to be our shape canvas. So the first shape we're going to put into there is probably going to be the rectangle because it's the easiest to, oh no, it's going to be the lines because they're fairly easy to understand. So the lines here, um, we are saying we're putting this into the shape canvas and as we're using the method create line. Um, then we have four um, numbers here. These are actually coordinates of where the line starts and end. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So that's the x is the left and right and the y is, y is the up and down. The so same line starts here and goes to here. Um, the fill is black, that will give it the, its color. Um, the fill is, yes, is the color for line. And the width is two, so it's gonna be two pixels wide. So I've got that line there, and we'll put a second line in. So instead of being from, this one is 112 in and zero Y and draws straight down. This one actually starts at y, um, X of zero, but Y halfway down and then draws across. So if we've got those two now. We should now have our cross there on our canvas. Right here. So let's look at the actual different shapes we can put in there. So let's have a look at the rectangle. The rectangle, now, because, uh, again, I'm not gonna be referring back to these, I'm gonna be changing these at any stage, I don't actually have to name these objects. So um, I'm saying that the rectangle in the shape canvas, I want you to create a rectangle. And the coordinates for the rectangle, this is the first two, X1 and Y1, that represents the top the top left hand point and then this is x2 y2 that's the bottom right hand point and then i want you to color it in red the fill of red so we should now have our rectangle down here so you'll see this is x1 y1 up here and this is x2 y2 and it will fill out to fill that entire square now the reason we started with the rectangle is because when we look at ovals they're fairly similar. In fact, the code is virtually exactly the same. The only difference is um, instead of filling the whole box out as a square, it draws a circle or an oval to fit that square or rectangle. So the code is um, shape canvas, create oval, and um, this is the X1 and Y1 of the box that encompasses the oval. And this is the X2 and the Y2 of the box that encompasses a circle. So the fill is going to be blue. So I'll run that and we can have a look at that one now. So our X1 and Y1 is actually up here, around here. And our X2 and Y2 are down here. Um, and it will fill the oval um, as much as it can fit within those boundaries. Now these are squares and um, circles because they are equal distance on each side. Um, if you wanted an oval, you just have to make one side longer than the other. 
So the next one we're going to look at, now that we've done a circle, let's do an arc. So the arc here, it's so in the shape canvas, we want to create an arc. And the arc, again, we've got the, um, the x1, y1, x2, y2 coordinates to give the box that it fits within. And it's got two other little um, arguments here, other than the fill arguments. This is the start. So start at 30 degrees. Now, in um, Takinta, as in actually most um, programs, it seems, that zero degrees is just there. Zero degrees is as far right as you can go. So it says start at 30, so move up 30 degrees here, then start drawing the arc all the way around for another 300 degrees. So it goes from zero, starts at 30, draws the arc all the way around for another 300 degrees and then stops and then puts a wedge in between. So let's see what that will look like when we run it. And there we are. So this is where zero was, and then it's moved up 30, then it's drawn the arc, we have start point, and then it's, it's filled, it's, sorry, it's gone the extent of 300, and then it's put the lines in to form the wedge. The last one we have is polygon. Um, and that's down here. Polygon actually has a whole heap of, well, can, ha can have a whole heap of coordinates. And each coordinate is a point, and it will basically draw a box or draw lines between those points and fill it in between. Now, I've done the simplest polygon possible. I've done three points to give me a triangle. So that is x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. But you can keep going and making as many as you want in relation to that. So... That one is, looks like that. So there is our triangle. So that is our four objects on the shape canvas. Next one is going to be the image canvas. So here's on the right hand side over here. Um, and on there I'm gonna put the photo of that cute little dog. So a couple of things about the image canvas or about images on um, canvases. You need to use particular um, fonts or your particular um, photo files. Um, PNGs are good ones. I think GIFs are also a good one to use as well too. But the first thing you do, you actually need to make a photo object. You just can't put an object straight into it. Right, so we've got to create a photo object and you use that by calling the command photo image and the file that, the, um, that you want to load up. Now this file is in the same directory as my, as my um, Python script here. So it will find that um, dog file and it will load it up and put it into the photo object. That's the first step you have to do. Then you need to actually add it to the, um, to the image, to the, to the canvas, sorry. So image canvas, we're creating an image and it starts at zero, zero. So um, of this canvas over here, don't forget, of zero, zero of that canvas is the top left hand corner. I'm gonna anchor it to the northwest, as we understand that's that top left hand corner. And the image I'm gonna put in is this object I've called photo, which is where I loaded the dog photo into. So if I save that, and if I run that, we should have, oh, we should have it working. Uh, Right, we will see here that I forgot to put the actual um, file into the directory, so I shall quickly do that, and we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so we're back, and I've put the dog file into the correct directory, and I also now need to show my image canvas um, in the right-hand grid there. So let's save that, F5, and here we go. So the dog is over there, the image has been put up onto that, um, so the last thing I'm going to do is actually show you how to put some text in. Um, so we've got some text here, which I've said on the image canvas, I want you to create text. And in that text, I positioned at 112 X, Y of 10, and just type cute and fill it in yellow. So just really basic text there. So I've got that, save and run that. And there we have it. So there are most of the features of the Canvas um, widget and all the things you can put onto it.